What's going on everyone? This is my bench day. Uh, I really want to do some crazy stuff, but just gonna like stay calm and it's gonna be a pause bench for sure. Today's Sunday, February 28th, I think, the last day of February. Should be. Whatever Sunday is of the last week of February. It's about to be March. So yeah, I would say it's the 28th because I was doing my FAFSA, FAFSA application and that was March 2nd. Is March 2nd. It was uh, yesterday, so the 27th, I think. And I was like, cool, March 2nd deadline, March 1st, March 2nd. And I was like, there's not 30 or 31 days in February. I need to do this now. So that's how I know. It's financial aid stuff for school. So it's going to be pause, bench. I know, like, I'm not going crazy, but like, I just really want to gauge what I can do for this week because we're resting next week all day long. So last week, you all remember. I mean, if you remember, that was my last block bench. I did amazing with 245 by 3, and I did not expect that. So I want to see what I can do this week. So here we go. Damn, this pre workout kicked in like crazy. I actually waited 30 minutes to lift. Good decision. Usually pre-workout after like 30 minutes, I feel it, but it doesn't work during the workout. I have to go pretty quick, like 15 to 20 minutes pushing it. 30 is really pushing it, but at least I feel better. Before I get the working sets going, I don't even know if I'm inside right now. I'm gonna trust my camera skills. Before I get my working sets going and get a lift off for all sets, I think, even though like 240 is easy to unrack now, it used to be heavy for me. So maybe I'm to the point where I don't need a lift off at all. But I'm not that elite. I'm not elite at all. I'm not even great. But I'm greater than what I was, at the very least. I'm gonna do 250. I'm gonna get a lift off. And last week, Tuesday, when I was dead after deadlifts, I did 245 one plate, so after getting these on, struggling with these, it's pretty hard. It's pretty high, like it never has bench seem so high to put a plate on. And you think the 55s are bad, the comp ones, the red ones, this is way worse. Uh, at least you could grab them though, deep dish. 245 last week for a 6x1, wasn't that bad considering the deadlifts went bad. Like I was tired, and then the 270, at least I did that. So we'll go 250, that was a 6x1, but this is going to pause. Last week I did 240 for a 5x3. So I really want like 5x2 or 4x2. I don't want 3 reps, I want 2 reps. So yeah, we're gonna go something along the lines of that. So as I was calling for my so-called lift off, I had the camera rolling and everything, lift off for it was coming, and then, you know, didn't happen. Long story. That's one con of a home gym. If no one's into powerlifting at all, or even fitness, and you only have one strong enough person to lift off for you, good luck. That's all I gotta say about that. I mean, at least at a gym, I could ask a stranger for a lift off and they wouldn't give attitude and they would just do it. I know what you're thinking. Mark, stop being a bitch and just do it without a lift off. I know. I mean, I did it, so at least. It was weird. The first rep was really hard. Second rep was really easy, but I know I paused that one less. I know that for a fact. So, 5x2 <laughs> is done with 250, and what I was going to say while I was laughing, this bench, see, it's wobbly. The one end wobbles, the leg. And I kind of knew it was wobbly already, I just didn't know exactly what was the source. I don't know if it was the bottom, I don't know if it was both legs or one leg. So it's one leg, so that's 
One cause for concern, I need to fix it on my own. I think it's not a hard fix. Um, I don't know exactly how to, because there's no screws where it's wobbling, so I don't know. So anyway, that's probably why the guy sold it to me for $40, but way better than nothing. So considering the wobbly bench, it's a cause for concern that I need to fix, but worst case, I just buy an actual comp, just the bench, not an actual comp, like the whole combo rack, but the 5x2, I noticed something weird. It seems like all this benching on my own feels like I've gotten better without a spotter, a liftoff, whatever, because the first one you saw, I did it without a liftoff, and it was, it was pretty easy. It was like the easiest set. And usually, first and last sets are pretty identical for me. And the last set was pretty easy, but like, you know, my dad doesn't really know how to do liftoffs, so one side's always even. Um, you know, not an excuse, it just throws me off a little and I still got the reps, but uh, excuses aside, because those don't exist, um, it was pretty, it was okay. It was just, I think I may be better without a liftoff. Um, not with heavy, heavy singles, that I for sure do. Maybe I'm just getting used to all this benching at home I do without a liftoff, unless it's really heavy. 250 isn't heavy enough, but um, I asked for it anyway, <laughs> so I thought it was gonna be heavy. But like honestly, the first set was really easy. So based off of that and the overall, I mean, it was RP9 the whole five sets for sure. Um, if I were to average the RPE, but it wasn't too like unsustainable. So I wanna bench a little more, real light, probably just 225 to just get the rhythm of benching like just some working sets, like nothing crazy. I may even touch and go and not pause. But then I should be pausing right now. So, <laughs> so like, that just felt kind of ugly. And I know I'm probably going to bench less this week. So that'll be starting Tuesday. And probably just Thursday, just two bench sessions and I'm done. No more benching four times a week. Um, I wanted to, but it's not it's not smart. So uh, I'm going to bench meat week, but it's going to be light. So I want to do just some working sets. I haven't done this in a while. Like, just working sets, like like a bodybuilder, like how a bodybuilder would do, or just the normal fitness junkie would do, you know, not powerlifting sets. Um, I think I could have done for sure three, like fresh, like for sure, my first set was easy. Possibly four, like seriously, four, you know, five, I don't know about five, if I did, I don't know if I would have paused it, and I don't know if it would have actually got the rep, but I don't know if it would have gone like halfway up, but for sure four, I think I could have done, paused. So, um, according to rep, the rep calculator, rep max calculator. It's not too reliable with three and five reps. It's more with three and two reps, like to calculate your one rep max. But considering that, let's see what it is. <laughs> this is 250. 250 is like not a comp number, but I mean, I may just have to open up a 248, but I want 254, so let's see. 250 times four if I were to do it. Maybe I do an AMRAP, I don't know. Not smart, two weeks out, I know. So if I were to do that four times, the met. According to the rep calculator, 283.3 would be my max. So in comp, it's 281.5. So all the numbers are leaning towards 281.5, which I want to do in uh, meet and comp day, whatever. So if this is 250, like, let's consider it 254 um, with, with the comp plates. Let's just say 253 because, you know, that's with the 44 pound bar. 253 times 3, let's say. That's more accurate. Three reps. It's still 278.3. Um... 260, I don't think I can do that for three. <laughs> but 258, let's just say for two. Let's just say for two, because I don't think I can do that for three. Mm, uh, 258 times two. I don't like doubles, though. I'm just not a fan of those. Yeah, see, 258 for two is 275. So, you know, it's kind of up in the air. 276 or 281.5 for sure. You could, Like the rep calculator, the rep max calculator, you can never know for sure with that. Because it may be too high or too low. You just never know. It gives you an idea though. Like for all, all I know, I could bench 287 and 281.1, 281.5 will fly meat day. Or I think 281, I'm projected to do that and I'll do 276 and it'll be hard. We don't really know. So that's just something I got to trial and error with this whole week. But I don't want to go crazy for sure. So now I'm going to start the working sets. 225 friendly ballpark numbers. And um, probably just do like a three way. <sighs>
All right, that wraps up my session. Um, today I just felt like benching, honestly. Um, nothing fancy. Obviously, too bad. 250, five by two paused. It was an iffy total like RP9, but at least I'm two weeks out. So it's not like I'm like really overshooting. So she doesn't think I overshot. She wasn't really here. She was outside, so she didn't really see. Um, 250, 5x2 pause. Eh. Then working says just 225 for a 3x5. Never really played like, never really played with 225 like that. Like, it's always been heavy for me. 3x5 pause, like, that's unheard of for me. So that's kind of why I did it. Like, it's not a hard weight, it's not heavy. Um, just really wanted to focus on my form. And I think it was okay, my form, like the pauses, the tempo, the retraction, contraction, all that, blah, 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 scapula stuff. Leg drive, I need to really focus on my leg drive. Uh, I need that for me day. I need it a lot. Not bringing my butt up. I think my butt is not coming up. I think, I think I'm doing a good job at that. Um, I'm going to kind of like taper down. Obviously, it's a taper week. I'm going to like not go so crazy. I think 250 is kind of uncharted waters right now. And if I do, there'll be singles. Um... I know my strength is there, like I know where it's at, I just need to really focus on form now and pauses. So I can't really go too heavy with the pausing. So if I do 250, it'll be singles. So you know, 250, 5 by shit, dude, 5 by 2, holy shit, I might go 255, <laughs> 255, I mean yeah, it's my opener, it's not that heavy. So what, I did 5 by 2, Damn, I did 5 by 2 with 250, it's crazy. So 255, not to push it too much, so 255. Like a four by six by one. I mean, I already did six by one last week, but that wasn't a good week. You know what I mean? Two forty five for six by one. It was just horrible. So maybe the two fifty, I could just do one. Oh, two fifty five. Yeah, or maybe four by one. We'll see. Like we gotta really calm down now. I did ten reps, so yeah, four shouldn't be a too bad or five. Yeah, not six by one. Sorry, four by one or five by one, depending on how I feel. If it's a nine, it's a nine. Shouldn't be. That's my opener. Two fifty five. So that's all I got for the video. Um, you know, I don't think that's all I got for the video, actually. I'm going to combine this video with my squats tomorrow. I was going to wait for Tuesday, but it's fine. I'll just do Monday tomorrow, keep the squats as they are. I just got used to squats on Monday. Then I'll, oh, I'm benching Tuesday. So what I, I think I'll do, I'll just bench. I don't want to bench Tuesday. I'm going to just deadlift Wednesday. So Monday squat, Wednesday deadlift. I can just do SBD, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday squat, bench, deadlift. Uh, I kind of like it like that. I like to save the energy. Sorry. I might do the SBD day towards the end of the week. Who knows? I'm kind of just talking out of my ass, but see you tomorrow. Welcome to tomorrow, everyone. Today is my squat day. Um, I did it a long time ago already. This is me after the fact. And what I had in plan was, like, I just, like, I'm big on numbers. Like, some people are big on RPE, whatever the RPE is. And that's funny because I did want an RPE today, but not, that's not what I got. RPA I wanted was like a 9, which is fine because I'm not far out from meat day. 8.5 to 9, you know, not 10. 9 was okay with me. I didn't mind. A one week out, I don't mind. <sighs> but I wanted 440 specifically. I did 435 last week and then 424 the week before. And I know I could have been doing more, so these were pretty easy. So I, I knew I had 440 in the bag. It's only 5 pounds from last week. 5 pounds more. And I didn't sleep last week. I had 2 hours of sleep and I didn't eat for like 21 hours and it was 4 in the morning. And 435 was pretty easy. It was like an eight and a half to a nine. Most people said it was an eight to an eight and a half. So I knew I had 440, but I was kind of scared because I'd never done it before. And I did 424 without a spot, and that's the most I've ever done without a spot. So I asked Ian, the owner of Fitness Underground, to get me, give me a spot. And I did 440. That's all I gotta say. You're gonna see it. Uh, working sets were 412.5. Uh, four four by one is like the ugliest working sets of all time. Um, I'll go over that in a little bit. But for right now, enjoy the video. Fuck yeah. Oh, oh shit. Oh, that was easy as fuck. <laughs> Woo! 
So that was like, me and Ian both were shocked at how like fast that was. He's that's my former coach. He's the owner of the gym. He used to coach me, and he knows and I know that squats my best lift. But we, ne I think both of us had no idea. Like he hasn't really been keeping up with my lifts, but he knows that I'm getting like 418 was the most I've done. So he think whatever, right? And I thought 440, whatever, like a nine. And he thought 440, probably, I don't know what he was thinking. But we were both shocked at how fast it was and how easy it was. And it was a seven all day long. Cleanest seven of my life. Cleanest lift of my life. Squat of my life. And it was super easy. I felt like I could have done three. Not saying three would have happened if I tried, but it felt like it. Easiest rep of all time. It was so easy. Like I couldn't breathe. I was shocked. Like I was like hyperventilating. I couldn't, I couldn't believe how easy it was. 440, like if I could have done that for three, then there's like no like there's like no limits like no no ceiling of what i could do me day but i want like 457 which isn't that unattainable based on how easy that was i wanted a nine like i said but that was a seven so here are the working sets which were not like this not as planned not like the 440 i thought it'd be the other way around 440 would be hard working sets would be easier so here they are <laughs> So the working sets, I think I didn't feel comfortable. Everything felt heavy on my back. 412.5. I was like, did I load this wrong? Is it 445, 451? Is it heavier than my top singles? I checked. It wasn't. It was 412.5 on the dot. And I just didn't get feel comfortable. It was super heavy on my back. 424, my last warm-up, and 440 were light on my back, surprisingly. So I was really confident about that. So these, I just never felt, never felt light, so I never felt great about them. And it just, I was leaning forward. I couldn't open my hips. I don't know. They were all hard, especially the third one. Fourth one was easy. Someone walked in the room and I have a really great peripheral, so it kind of threw me off. I think it was a little high, the fourth one, but it was easy, um, the fourth one. Um, the first three sets were hard, especially the third. I don't really care, though, because I'm not touching for a 12.5 meat day. You know, these are just working sets that I value, but now I value the 440 way more. And I had a lot of energy. I don't know why I was so gassed for those. Like, I didn't feel tired. I just, I don't know. I think I was just sloppy. I don't know. I wasn't, I was leaning forward. My hips weren't opening too much. I don't know, I was just too pumped about the 440 the entire time. Those entire, like, 40, like, 30 to 40 minutes squatting the 4x1 with 412, you know, um, I didn't really care about it because I'm not touching that midday anyway. My opener probably be 418 and 424. Don't really know. I want 424, 440, 457. That's what I'm looking at. 17-pound jumps each. Yeah, about literally 17 on the dot. 16.5. Yeah, 17, yeah. So that sounds about right. Not too big jumps. Like, the jumps aren't too huge. Uh, I kind of, I feel like I can do more though. So like, like if I had like a YOLO me, which is this isn't it, all out me, I haven't had one yet. I want that to be nationals. Hopefully I feel good for nationals like I do now. It'd be 468.5, which is 100 pounds over my first meet uh, PR, which was 369. Um, I don't think I'm going to do that though. We'll see. 463 is probably up for grabs, but I, I know I could do 457. I wanted 451 and now I know I can do that. Depending on how I feel though. I mean, like if a horrible meet did, we'll see. So, working sets were horrible. Single was, like, the best single I've ever done in my entire life. Like, it felt literally like no weight. It moved, like, 220, 231 was harder than that, my warm-up. So, uh, it was amazing. I can't get over it. Uh, it was a great day. I ate two cups of rice before and a cup of ground beef. And I slept, and I had a lot of water yesterday. So, it was all according to plan. I slept enough, and I took a nap, too. I slept, like, five hours and took a nap, like, an hour and a half before the gym. So, naps do... I do good with naps before the gym. So, uh, that's all I got for the video. I didn't want to talk too much on the squats. I mean, I let the, talk, the squats talk for themselves. Um, I have four sessions this week. This is Monday, March 1st. Tomorrow, March 2nd, will be bench and deadlift. And then I'm going to rest Wednesday, Thursday, the 3rd and the 4th. And then Friday, Saturday, the 5th and the 6th will be my next session. My second session's on all of them. They will bench three times, though. But my second deadlift and squat day. So, I'll do it again. Squat, 
Probably squat and bench, and then deadlift and bench on uh, Friday, Saturday. So I'm not having an SBD day. I don't care for SBD days, whatever. Call me what you want. I'm going to have that meet day. I feel like I'm ready without an S. I've never done it. Oh, I did my first meet. But the second, third, and fourth, no. So it's fine. So with that being said, that's the video. Hope you enjoyed it, because I did. That's like the best lift of all time. It doesn't matter if I don't get a meet day, though. All that matters is I get a meet day. Worst case, I get 440 for my second attempt, but I don't get my third. Worst case, because that was the original goal, 200 kilos. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for my last week. And then I'll see you meet day.